Hey guys, David here and welcome to this video. This is going to be the second part to the table saw build. The first part, we replaced the old top, really crappy top of this cheap chop side saw with a beautiful piece of birch plywood. Then we made sure that it is perfectly square to the whole, at all the edges. We made this nice zero clearance insert and we routed those channels here that are going to be for the rudders for example like cross cut sleds and stuff like that. Now in this video we're going to create a beautiful fence here that we're going to be able to use and we're going to build that cross cut sled and we're going to enclose this whole thing in a box so it looks a bit nicer. That was a long montage and now we have this piece here which is going to be the main part of the fence. It is still missing the top piece which I'm going to fit in in the end and we have this piece here that is already slotted in here that I can take out in and out that fits in perfectly and that I can tighten with this one nut and then it is very tight. And now we got to connect these two. And while doing that, we gotta make sure that it is perfectly parallel to the blade. And as my blade is really nice and square to the edge here, I can also check that with a square and make sure that I have everything perfect. But to start out with, I'm just gonna take the fence and press it up against the blade. I rose it up so that I have as much surface area to work with as possible. And then I'm gonna loosen this part and slide it underneath make sure it is nicely centered and then i will tighten this so that it is locked in place and now i can just uh, use a square here to make sure it really all is perfect and i'm going to drive in two screws here and to lock that in place maybe add some more glue if i'm happy with it Add the top piece and then the fence is done. Don't mind this blown up in here, the sun is shining through the window, but here we have a crosscut sled that is almost finished. So I still need to mount these pieces, but what I did is I mounted these two strips of beech wood in the bottom. These are going to be the runners in there. They fit pretty snugly 
I'm happy with the fit. There's a tiny bit of pain in the middle, but compared to what I had before, this is great. So these are running in here. Then I have the guy here, which is gonna be nicely 90 degrees to the saw. And then I need a little piece up here because of course I'm gonna have to cut a slot in here for it to saw to go through and it would just cut the thing in half. So I need to add this piece on top here to have the two sides stick together. So let's do that. And now down here we can get started with just building a box around this. I still want to have access to the front where I can adjust the angle of the blade and I can lower it up and down. Um, of course power button is still there so I'm not going to do anything there. But I'm going to close off the two sides and the back just having an opening for the dust port and making a bottom to it as there is a lot of dust that falls down here and I don't want to have that on the table and I also want to have a way to clamp the saw to the table. One more thing. I had these pieces cut uh, at the hardware store to match this here and make a nice box around it. But I must have been drunk or something by measuring this because the height of this is nowhere even close to the height that I gave the guy there to cut up. This is 3 centimeters short. So I guess I'm gonna have to get creative since I don't have enough material to cut all these pieces from scratch. Now to assemble this thing here I'm going to use a technique that I've never used before, and that is pocket holes. Now, I'm no expert, but Banggood sent over this pocket hole trick uh, for me to try out and play around. You can check it out at the link down below. And the way it works is you have this jig here, and then you take the piece of wood that you want to make the holes in, you take this jig, put it on the edge, and then you use the included clamp and you can fix it to it like that, go super quick. And then you can use this special drill bit uh, to go through here. And then it creates a hole where you can put the screw in and then you can screw directly into the other piece. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this series as much as I did making it. 
it was a lot of fun building this table and if you compare it to how the saw was before it really was worth the couple of days that I invested into it and it wasn't that expensive I mean wood here in Switzerland is really expensive but considering how much it improved the saw overall the saw was a bit over a hundred dollars and I spent almost a hundred dollars in wood but the end result is way better than a saw that I could get for like two hundred dollars so I'm really happy with it and there still are some things that I want to do. I really need to put some wax on this table but I don't have any currently on hand. And to the fence I want to add some hardwood strips to either side so it lasts a bit longer. Uh, maybe give it the bottom part a uh, lick of paint. But that you're going to be able to probably see in a future IGTV video. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and if you want to see any other updates uh, you can follow me on Twitter as well. Thanks for watching and until next time.